there's been a lot of stir in the media lately about a questionnaire issued by the Vatican. This questionnaire is issued as part of the preparatory process for a synod of bishops that's going to be upcoming. Now, a synod of bishops is basically just a gathering of bishops to discuss a particular issue within the Catholic Church. So this particular synod of bishops is going to look at pastoral challenges to the family in the context of evangelization. And so as part of the preparatory process, the Vatican has issued a questionnaire that it has to be disseminated on the parish level. So even parishioners are going to be giving some kind of input on this synod. Now, unfortunately, the media, both Catholic and secular, has taken this story and interpreted it to mean that the Catholic Church is polling Catholics for advice on teachings such as same-sex unions or contraception or who should and shouldn't be admitted to communion as a result of divorce and remarriage. That's not it at all. In fact, the Vatican issued a statement clarifying that because it's been so misinterpreted. Rather, what the Vatican is doing is seeking to say, how well have we taught these truths? The reason it's not seeking opinion, and this should have raised the eyes of any astute Catholic, is because when the Church teaches on a matter of faith and morals, she does so as a matter of truth, not a matter of opinion. And so since it's a matter of truth that these teachings are, with which these teachings are taught, there's no need to poll anybody. You know, we don't poll to see if people believe the truth. You know, there's no poll going around to say, do you believe that the Boston Red Sox won the World Series? That's a matter of fact. It's not a matter of opinion. You know, I might not like it, you might not like it, but it is, in fact, what happened. The Boston Red Sox did, in fact, win the World Series. Well, similarly, when the church teaches on matters of faith and morals, those teachings are, in fact, true. And whether I like it or you like it has no bearing on the truth value of that statement, of that teaching. And so what's going on with this questionnaire then isn't a polling to say, gee, should we change our teachings? Rather, what it is, is it's a questionnaire to say, how well have we taught? How well have we educated our people? You see, one of the primary roles of the bishop, the primary role of the bishop, is to be a teacher of the faith. As a teacher of the faith, they need to evaluate every now and then their own success. How well have we taught the faith? How well are we doing? I think that this survey is intended to ask people that question. It's going to ask questions about, do you understand the church teaching? Do you know the church teaching? Do you agree with it? And that uh, do you agree with it question would be not as a matter of do we need to change it, but what is it that you're struggling with? Help us to understand so that we can help explain to you and help you see what is in fact the truth. So don't expect the synod to come out with a whole new teaching, as the secular media often says and perhaps would like, but rather expect the synod to inform the bishops of, hey, this is where our lay people currently are. This is what they're facing in their family life. This is how they understand the teachings. This is why they either don't abide by the teachings or do abide by the teachings. And this is what we need to do moving forward to help educate our people so that they know the truth and then are able to integrate and live out the truth. See, that's the role of the bishop is to help us to know the truth so that we can live out the truth in our daily lives. That's what true freedom means, by the way. So often we think of freedom as being the ability to do whatever I want, whenever I want. But see, that's not freedom at all. Freedom is the ability to live in accord with what is true, to not be captured or ensnared by lies of the world or any other source, but instead to live by what is in fact true. And so if these teachings are in fact true, our freedom then is the ability to live by what is true and not to be taken into the slavery of the false lies, these false realities that are presented by other teachers in the world, other false teachers. And so this whole questionnaire is designed to assist the bishops in helping them to become better teachers so that all of us can live in the freedom given to us as the children of God.